Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. I have done a bit of uh, off-screen work. Um, I guess I can show you the results. Um, the levels are a bit more even. Um, I've also bought some accessories from Coriander. Uh, the most important of which being the green accessory there, the barrel bracelets, I believe. No, no, there's another green one. You say I saved after I did that. I quite equipped someone. Nope, okay, no idea where that's gone. Um, great start, huh? Press right buttons. Oh, I've only got barrel bracelets. Okay, maybe it was. Maybe I just bought two. I thought I bought one. Um, no, I'm being an idiot. It's the red cherry which I bought, which is another um, red rune which I didn't have before. Um... I also went to the ancient forest and I got myself from the um, goat men there a piercing imprint which will be useful later but um, it's no new rune or anything. So today we're going to Turgon Mines and I loathe this level. I'm going to grab Sword Blessing. Um, to be honest, it's not that useful in this area, and uh, you're about to see why. Oh yeah, gimmick for this area. There are levers which turn on lights. Yeah, seriously, that that's the gimmick. The other gimmick is fucking annoying enemies. Do we have any here? No, it seems we've only got the nice ones in this one. Um, these are lizard lords. They're basically the same as the lizard men face in the last place. Uh, you want to attack them from behind, kill them easily. Um, my archer is shooting a bridge. Good work. Um, things to note, they will heal themselves if they're left under 50% health. And I've got break mode, so it's just good. Um, you can also get piercing imprints from breaking their weapons. Fairly rare. And monster scales, which you get from breaking their legs, I believe. Um, that's a very good item, so try and get those. Um, it's nice to have a couple of them. It's not the end of the world if you don't get them, but you want at least one. Right, Frailty. That comes from one of Arngrim's attacks. Uh, I can't remember the name of it right now. But what it does is it just stops healing, so hopefully it's under half health. It'll try and heal now. No, it's not going to. It doesn't want to cooperate. It wants to smack me in the face. Um, anyway, the main problem you have with this lords is they just block a lot from the front, which is why you really should attack them from behind, but I want piercing imprints, so I want to try and break their weapons, so I've got to attack them from front, so yeah, I'm kind of screwed. Um, the reason we wanted that rune so much, I will just show you quickly. If we go on, let's say, Christy, um, I should remove these copper coins, they're not doing much for her. Um, sort for blue runes. We've got monster scale, that's a new rune. Um, if we look under our list, free item. This is what we want, so I need a little star one. And I can't remember the other one, but I'll just go through the list and it will shine. And... Do, do, no. Come on. Oh, I'm wrong. So it's blue head. Oh, blue gloves. Um, so I'll just equip the gauntlet. She'll get the free item skill. Are there any other skills I can get? I think I can get force field if I equip blue legs and link them together because at the moment they're not linked. So, uh, yeah, any will do. They'll give me force field 100. It's quite a good skill at the moment. It really becomes useless later on. Anyway, free item, however, is one of the best skills. You you really want one member of your party to have that at all times. It's a really good skill. Um, so what we have here is a lift. You can use it to get up. The lever of turning lights on. And the treasure chest for getting some stuff. Uh, first thing you want to do here is go down. Freeze that guy. And there's some chests in dark here. Um, 
well not chest, a uh, bag and a chest. And naturally the chest is gas, so you know. Oh fine, I'll fight the enemy. Ah, we've got another new enemy here, the Oh no, we've got them both. Great. So now you're gonna see the reason I have Lazard on me. Um Up here we have a wasp's nest. You know you know the ghost enemies we've been fighting which are immune to physical attacks? Yep. They're weak to fire, so hit them with fire if possible. Um, but the only one who can do anything is Lazard. They have a load of health. Their attack animations are slow as anything, which is really annoying. And the worst thing, the absolute worst thing, is they have this attack. Schism. It just makes a new one. And these slugs, they can poison you, which is kind of annoying. And apparently they can kill Lazard, which is also kind of annoying. Um, I have a lot of Union prune, Plumes now, so not such a problem. Um, anyway, as you would imagine, for snails, they have really good defense if you attack them from behind. So I'm going to do just that. Um, the other thing is once you destroy their shell, it reveals their soft, squishy insides, which are really, really easy to kill. They're vital parts. So I personally attack them from behind. You can attack them from the front if you want. Uh, their most annoying attack is an area of effect attack, which just poisons your entire party, basically. Um, I mean, it doesn't necessarily, but if you're close enough. I'm sorry if you can't see anything. I know video compression read doesn't like dark screens, and I can barely see anything, so... Yep, gas. You didn't think they wouldn't trap the things in the dark. But um, that's a good item, the crystal chain mail, so we'll be equipping that. And we've also got... yeah. What you have to do here is use the map at the top to see where you're running. And you can do this and it gets lights on and um, I think it turns off the one on the bottom left. Anyway, we have to jump... <sighs> we have to jump up here to get to another chest. So back in a sec after I've killed some bloody wasps. One thing that possibly should be noted about the wasps is... Um, this was the reason we had to come back here, otherwise you'll go for the entire dungeon and then come back because you can't get any further. Um, you can just let the wasps respawn as much as you want and then get infinite experience from those fights. But really, the, if you ask me, it's too tedious to do it. Um, for the moment, we want to pull this lever. <coughs> Sorry, throat's a bit dry. Uh, for the moment, we want to pull this lever, just run across because um, there's a lever on the other side so you can pull it back up if you want or back down as the case will be so you notice those those wasps are just a mini boss right so we got rid of them we can come here and we can get Fetter's Wrath and that means that you can't evade or counter honestly that doesn't have much effect when it's on us we almost never evade or counter the enemy sometimes do so we might as well take it down here pull that up and we're gonna have another mini couple of mini bosses but we can get to here first so enemies here can no longer evade or count kind of useful we have some more oh I I hate this lever because you want to swing at those wasps but you can't because there's a lever in the way um, another thing you might notice the seal stones in this area they just make it so that you can't, you you always get attacked first. And um, that is one of the steel stones which is utterly useless in our hands because we usually just swing at the enemies to make us attack first. So in most situations, you don't need that steel stone. It's, it's just a waste. Just make sure you hit enemies rather than just jumping into them. I know accidents happen, it's useful if you want to be lazy, but. It's really not worth recovering. Um, on the other hand, when the enemies have that bonus, it's bloody annoying. It just means you can't attack as quickly at the start of every battle. Anyway, there is a reason I have the party I have at the moment. Um, 
apart from the fact that Lazard is just really useful at killing bees. I think I can avoid those. And the ones which actually appear as wasps, as a swarm of wasps in the map, those ones won't respawn. Um, but obviously if they appear as one of the blue glowy enemies, then um, <coughs> after you've killed them and left the room, they'll come back. So uh, I believe this box is explosive, so you want to jump away as quick as possible and get an anointed cloak. That's going to be useful as well because it's the first red armour we have apart from Alicia's robe um, and that's just handy. Uh, we've already used that. I might just equip some stuff. Hold on a sec. No I'm not. Um, simply because the only people who can equip are archers and mages and I don't want to remove any of the items from the Zard because they're giving him the most magic humanly possible at the moment. I mean, I'm not sure if I can check his uh, status mid-battle, but um, I want to use a warrior's arcanum on him because he's kind of dead. But he has a lot of magic power at the moment, and we need that to be killing these wasps. I mean, we kill non-leader wasps in free blasts, which is pretty good. I would remind you, though, that free blast while hitting their weak spot, and um, also with hugely maxed out magic. So that just gives you an idea of how much health these things have for a monster at this level, which is a ghost. In other words, they're really annoying and ridiculous, and I bloody well hate them. And I'm aware I'm not attacking this thing's weapon, but I destroyed it anyway. So never mind. Now it's gonna smack us with a shield for one damage. I can live with that. Let's try and get some other items out of this guy. Well, I uh, wish I wasn't hitting the shield. Oh well, whatever. It, it's dead. That, that's all I wanted for it. There we go. We've got the skills on Christy, so um, I would. Oh well. Might as well fight this, it might have a new enemy. Well, no new enemy, but we did get a piercing imprint, which is good. Because I still need another one of those, ideally. If not more, more is always nice, but... Um... Oh, damn you, Cliff. Right, we want you... No, we want you... Down here. Let's get rid of this guy first, back in a sec. Well, we still didn't get a new enemy in the area, but um, I got a few nice items from the enemies in there, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, I don't want to open the bag, I want to kill the wasps. Okay, so the thing we get here is uh, another archer iron area, which um, hopefully we'll get the good one. I mean, they both have their pros and cons, but there's one which just starts out really good. And I think it is Lilia, so... I'm just going to equip her up, ready, and um, put her in the party. Okay, I've set her up to use a free item skill. I'll just fight this enemy so you can see what she's like. And naturally, it's it hits wasps. Um, so that's what she looks like there. And these are her attacks. She has two homing attacks, which I believe are holy elements. Did I not give her three attacks? I think she only attacked twice though, didn't she? I think I forgot to change her weapon. Um, damn. Because it's affected by frailty, it doesn't get any of its health back there, which is extremely useful. Um, I'm kind of annoyed myself, I'm still using a crappy bow on my new archer. Um, the boss is all the way over there, it's that lizard. And I still want to break their weapons, so I'm still going on a reckless frontal assault, which I really don't recommend unless you really want piercing imprints, but, you know. And I really want to inflict frailty on him, but it's not happening. Oh, it is. Just in time to. Probably the best thing to do if you're attacking from the front is to get them under 50% health. Because once you've done that, half the time they're just going to heal rather than attacking them. You. 
And if you can destroy their weapon, obviously they do less damage. So they're not actually too bad to attack from the front. I think I'm exaggerating them. They're not as bad as the cyber lizards from the last dungeon. Um, Stay sharp. We ain't out of the wood. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this dungeon. I should equip the right weapon a second. Okay, we've got Supreme Crossbow equipped now. Uh, we have Brimstone's Law in this shell. It turns you or the enemies to fire, which gives you all the resistances and vulnerabilities you'd expect from being made of fire. Um, there is a trick. If you equip fire resistant items and then turn the boss into fire, then you can kind of sneak by the boss and taking very little damage. I'm not going to do it, and I'm not going to recover that item either. In fact, none of the seal stones in this dungeon really appeal to me. The last one's supposed to be good, but I'm not a fan. Anyway, through this door we have the boss of the area. Um, just in case you're thinking the enemies haven't been annoying enough. Yeah. Guess how many wasps there are in this fight. So yeah, that's our enemy, the Queen Wasp. Do you mind if I take this one? Um, as for breaking items off of it, there's only a few worth going for. Um, what we're going to be attacking here are insect eggs. Because these, if you destroy them, won't spawn more wasps. You'll notice it says field HP rather than enemy HP because they're technically part of the field. Um, this wasp I think we just want to kill along the way. I should probably show you that um, Archery will do a small amount of damage to them because she has the Supreme Crossbow which makes all her attacks holy. Um, but yeah, it's only a small amount because at the moment we don't have the equipment really to give anyone apart from our mages a decent magic stats so um, never mind let's just break our way through and we're into kind of the queen's nest here so if we can destroy all of these I believe as soon as we kill this one it will spawn another so I'm just going to destroy as many eggs as possible now because there's no way we're going to get the prize for this fight unless you're insanely over leveled um, but what we can do is stop having these swarms of wasps just coming at us for the whole fight. Because the boss by itself, yeah, see that egg as soon as we um, killed that wasp it just spawned another one. Which is fine, you get more experience by killing the wasps. But um, let's change the target to the eggs. But as soon as I move it changes it back to the wasps because this is their slow as hell attack animation. But yeah, these, these, oh, I'm attacking the wasps. Fine. They'll kill the swarm of wasps, and then the insect eggs will bring another one up. And I'm going to get attacked. Can you see why I don't like this dungeon? It's not because it's too difficult for me. It's just because it's so frustrating. So that's, um, Lilia's last attack. Um, just like homing holy vaults or something like that. Anyway, now onto the Queen Wasp. Um, for the moment, we're pretty much fine. Attacking it from behind is good. Attacking it from the front, if you want to destroy its claws, can be quite fun. Uh, tuning wing, that's not something we particularly need. We've given it frailty, which means fuck all. You see that nice big tail? Um, that is where it has the most defense, but you get a nice item for destroying it, so uh, feel free to try. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait. It's my mum, and I really don't want to deal with her. Um, oh, if anything, I'm recording. Sorry for the noise there. 
Oh, there's still one left. She's probably gonna call in a second, isn't she? She's gonna be oh she hit the button by accident. She might leave a message. She might text. Right. Anyway, we wanna try and destroy this tech. That is my goal, even though as you can see half the time I'm doing zero damage to it. But never mind. Now we're at the problem place. The, the boss is under half health. So, Leone and Lilia, you are in Team Suicide. Angrim and Lazard, you are in Team You Just Fell Down a Cliff, you annoying arsehole. Yeah, Team Suicide is getting a bit more suicidal than I planned because the guys decided to fall off a cliff. Imitation eye is like least of your worries here. Um, right, I don't have free item yet on any of these characters anyway, so just heal up and move in. There's a reason I've surrounded it like this. As you see, everyone's flashing despite the fact they're split into two teams, which you uh, do by resting up and down on the D-pad, by the way. So I can still attack with everyone. So we attack from both sides, and um, this isn't of crucial importance yet, as the enemy isn't doing what I don't want it to do yet. But it will do. It has a very powerful attack, which can really ruin your day. Here it goes. It's charging it up. And here you go. Variation Omega. Now. <laughs> I'm surprised. I think it got a bit confused there and it didn't attack me properly. But as you can see, that, that was my health. And I'm pretty sure before we attacked, I had some of that stuff. And I've also realised I don't have enough characters to actually build up a special attack, which is really annoying. But um, never mind, I didn't get any of the items I really wanted to. But we get the normal item for beating, which is the Olive Clown. Yeah, Olive Crown, which is an okay item for uh, mages. And Lazard's learned Frigid Damsel, which is kind of useful. Um, so, there is gas in the second chest. So, duck. Normally, I just jump over any everything, but the roof is too low here, so. Um, I think you should text. You just need to duck. Anyway, some money and the gold grubber's law. Some people swear by it. I mean, it's useful if you want to grind some cash. I don't want to grind any cash. I'd rather have the experience. Um, the other peop reason people like it is um, you can use it to train skills because skills aren't based on experience. So um, you can train skills and keep people low level, which I don't have any use for doing that either. I'm sure there's some big metagamey reason for doing it, I've been attacked. Right, I'm just going to check the, check the moves I've got on anyone, see if I can boost it by two. Okay, I had the wrong weapon equipped on the ONA for this entire dungeon, that's why. Um, I had the cast not equipped, which does allow it to hit ghosts because it gives it a holy element, but um, I don't trust that wasp next, right next to us. Let's try and kill this guy. Oh, I've got break mode, naturally, which wouldn't let me to show it, regardless of the weapon I've got. There, so. Oh, I've got another monster scales, always handy. And yeah, I'm just pointlessly recording battles now. Well, there is a point. I want to show you people's finishing moves. That is not the item I want from you. In fact, I want an item from you, so I don't really want to use my finishing moves until I've broken that spear of yours. Well, don't you shield bash me. You son of a, or possibly daughter of a, I can't really tell on this. Um, a gecko. Yeah. I'm not going to destroy its spear, am I? 
See, with the spear it's still equipped, it does a fair bit of damage. Oh well. I should be able to do my finishing move now and it will be utterly pointless, but... No, I've broken him, so this entire battle was pointless to show. Stay Never sharp. mind. At least I've got a couple of skills on her. I'm just going to change her skills she's learning. Okay, Lilia now has free item skill equipped, which pretty much does what you would expect of something named that. Um, it just means that using your items, it still stops you from going in the menu for a while, but it doesn't use up any uh, AP, so, you know, useful. I'm going to go find an enemy because I really want to show you this um, these special moves before we exit this dungeon. Come and get it. Some snails, joy, the enemies I didn't really want to see, but never mind. I suppose I might as well show you how free item works. i um, just gone Lilia, who's a warrior's account on Arngrim. And you see my AP didn't change. Which makes it very powerful, really. Right. I'm attacking from the side, so I don't think my hits are going to add up properly. Nope, they did. Um, so, she's just a generic archer, so she has the pulverizing storm attack, like all generic archers. Um, nothing to say about that, but um, just shows you everyone gets that. He only does some weird electric stroke musical attack, I guess, in the name, Sublime Horn. I don't know, just, it's purple. I've never really associated purple with music, but I guess, whatever. And we didn't get to show Arngrims, but hopefully this giant snail will uh, let us amend that fact. I was going to do Poison Breath, so at least you get to see that. And I was lucky it didn't poison me, but um, now we're going to smash it in the face. Smash it in the face until it's dead. And show you Arngrim's finisher, which returns from the first game. Yeah, so if you thought his big sword was compensating for something, it's nothing compared to his finishing move. So um, that's all for this dungeon. All we have to do now is return, which is fairly easy. There's a lift just here, um, which has always trapped me when I've been playing through before because I see something which says check. I'm like, oh, I've got to check what that is. And then, of course, it's a lift which slowly drags your ass up to the top. Um, just to show, we've got 100% of items, 100% of maps. And there's an enemy on the way, so I'm not going to fall for that shit. I've had quite enough of fighting wasps for one day. So we're going to run out of here. Um, I might need to come back and get another piercing imprint. Because it is slightly easier to get it from there. Um, next time we'll be going to Aldulla, Temple on the Lake. And actually going back to the main story, because... It's been a while and since, you know, anything tragic and horrible has happened to our team. And I think we need to rectify that. Now, who was the guy who gave that quest? No, that's the one who gives you the water quest. Oh, it was in the inn, wasn't it? Um, so you need to run through to the inn and we'll get a reward for killing the wasp. Um, which is obviously in addition to all the treasure we looted, you know, but that hardly counts. Uh, tavern, that's where it was. Talk to this guy, and, oh, old guy with a bandana somewhere around town, right. Okay, fine, make it hard for us. Is he over here? Yeah, that looks like him. Yep, some money for us. Uh, I can't remember, we can now get a green legs rune, I believe. Um, let me check. And the armor. No, it won't this. Uh, we can't get that yet. Fairy garb, we can't get yet. 
Vein Greaves, Alligator Skin, uh, I didn't get any Dragon Call Stone, so no I can't. Um, mind, I believe that's something you can get from the Lizard Men in there. Um, so, that's all for this time, I shall see you next time when we'll be returning to the main quest. Bye!